Mm. It's that wonderful time of year again, where friends and family gather around the table for a beautiful Thanksgiving feast. They share stories, they tell jokes, and they quickly rush through dessert so they can get down to the big box store, wait in line until doors open, and they can save $50 on a blender that came out last season, and maybe, just maybe, kill someone in the process. And that just happens to be the plot of Eli Roth's new film, Thanksgiving. I saw it. Let's talk about it. Before I get to the review, I first want to talk about an awesome product I got. The Rokid Max AR Glasses with Rokid AR Joy Pack. As many of you know, I still love going to the theater to watch a good movie, but because of the rude people and the miserable theater conditions the last few years, it's become a nightmare. Unfortunately, the at-home theater experience isn't much better. I have a wife and two children constantly craving, clamoring for my attention. I just can't... And there it is. Dad, can you help me with my math? No, I cannot help you. Math sucks and I'm busy. As I was ironically trying to state, I'm constantly interrupted. And that's where these bad boys on the TV come into play. With the Rokid Max AR glasses, I can have the movie theater experience anywhere I want. This sucker features the Google Android TV system, offering a wealth of content, including popular apps like YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and more. Well, hello, Jennifer Lawrence. Hey, Dad, what are you watching? Whatever I want. These stylish glasses are lightweight and comfortable too. Weighing only 75 grams, I measured them myself. That's not true. It also has features such as low blue light, low glare, flicker free and eye comfort certified viewing. The station itself is also compact, fitting easily in your pocket. The Rokid station is the world's first Google certified Android TV device for AR glasses. If I may, let me get more technical for a second. You can seamlessly switch between 2D and 3D at 1080p, just back and forth at will. Snap it, snap it. The 120 hertz refresh rate makes for a silky, smooth, vibrant picture. This video is presented as a massive 360 inch FHD micro OLED display. Yum, 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 I just eat it up. You essentially have a giant movie theater that you can take on the go. These shades don't just look great, they sound great too. With superior sound directional dual speakers built right in. Hey dad, I'm on laundry to take out the trash. I'm busy working. My personal favorite is not only can I watch Spider-Man swinging around in glorious 3D, I can also become him. In, in a matter of speaking, on my PS5. With the glasses on, all major video game platforms are compatible, along with direct mirroring with the iPhone 15. The bottom line, I can finally ignore my family at home and on the go. That's the dream. This is a no brainer for movie and video game enthusiasts and now is the best time to pick one up with the huge holiday deals going on. You can find links for the Rokid Max AR glasses, Rokid Station, and Rokid AR Joy Pack found in the video description below. There's a limited time offer at $2.99 starting from the 20th till the 27th. You have a small window, get on it. Get the glasses and get your movie experience on. I'm not gonna lie to you, when it comes to directors, Eli Roth sits at the kids' table at Thanksgiving. I don't really want anything to do with him. I'm not a big hostile guy, not a big fan of some of his other stuff. That said, he gets all the fixings right in this one. The recipe is perfect, that bird is cooked, and I'm ready to feast on more. Because Thanksgiving 2023 is a hell of a good time. At a gorgeous one hour and 45 minutes, this movie runtime pairs perfectly with the amount of kills and gore and humor that's on display. I really didn't know what to expect going into this movie. I was hungry for something exciting. I was hungry for something different. And I have to tell you, the movie filled me up. I had a full tummy when I left. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep up these like Thanksgiving dinner puns. I should probably stop. I should probably stop while I'm behind. If you saw any of the trailers, you might think this is a scary movie and you would be wrong unless you get really freaked out by jump scares. I find them a little bit like, eh, okay, yeah, you got me with that loud noise. It's always the loud noise because it's so jarring. It's the loud noise more than it is the cat jumping out of the closet. This has four or five of those 
to be sure. But it is not a scary movie. This is a dark comedy. It plays off a lot of fun tropes. It has a very big scream feel to it, which I did not expect going into this. I love a good old fashioned whodunit murder mystery and Thanksgiving kept me on my toes trying to figure out who the killer was the entire time. The other big thing it has in common with Scream is the pageantry of the villain. He wears a mask, he's got the pilgrim outfit on, and he really like plays up, he really hoax up the whole holiday thing with Thanksgiving. Lots of jokes, lots of little commentary about the season and how it's all about, you know, there's not going to be leftovers is what he says. Yeah, I like the double entendres. I like the play on words. It's good stuff. If you're going to this movie for the murder, for the kills, for the gore, you will be left satisfied because there's a lot of it and it's all pretty disgusting. Not quite terrify your levels of gross, but it's, it's getting there. It's up there. Now, because the movie is silly, there are some plot points that maybe run a little too far in the Looney Tunes end of the spectrum. There was one or two scenes where I was like, uh, eh, this is just so plausibly ridiculous that I can't really get that invested in what's happening. But they're short-lived, you move past it, there's enough going on, there's enough fun, likable characters in the movie that it keeps you engaged. Visually, it looks cool. I like how it's a throwback to 80s and 90s looking movies, but it is set in modern times. They have smartphones, they're assholes. It's all adding up to current generation. But the school, the look of the cheerleaders, the football players, the whole gym and the, the, the classrooms, that definitely has an old school vibe to it, which I dug. Bottom line, this was a great Thanksgiving. And I'm hungry for more. So hopefully Eli Roth keeps this tradition going every season or so and we get another one of these. I told you my thoughts on the film. I'd love to hear yours. Did you go out and see Thanksgiving already? Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I want to hear from you. I want to argue with you. No, I don't want to argue. I want to, I want to break bread and share stories, share opinions. Please like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews, roasts, live streams. In fact, I actually reviewed this movie live on the stream just a night or so back. It was an absolute shit show, a complete disaster. Camera stopped recording halfway through, had to reduce sections of it. I go on a five to 10 minute murderous rampage about the awful theater experience I had. That's all completely lost in the ether. You can see it on the live stream though. It is there on the live stream. I just didn't get it recorded locally on my on my nice camera. So it's all it was all for naught. And so it's almost like a second review you can watch over there, plus a little massacre at the end for bonus. All right, that's my review. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.